Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus, and we're going through Nathan's emails. Uh, Principal Wells to Nathan Prescott. Nathan, I'd like to apologise for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you to you distracted from school and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Huh. Right. So, is there anything else around here? So, we've got tortured subjects, we've got... Hold on, what's that? No, just look. Uh, Maybe I could put the f the music on because I haven't done that yet. Uh, we've looked at the posters, looked in the book. There's a drawer. Have we gone through that yet? That is so Chloe. Yeah, we've done that one. Um, right. MP3 player. Whale songs. Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. It's a fucking weird thing to have on his mp3 player. So he's got a load of fucking weird bondage pictures and he listens to whale song. He's a weird fucking guy. Scratch marks. That sounds fucked up. Looks fucked up. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Oh, it's where he pulls the sofa away from the wall. Yep, move the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Yeah. Let's find out everything. You can't keep the secrets from the oh, time yes, ninja. Phone. You are mine now. <laughs> right, so is that it? Anything else? Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Hmm. Well, let's just leave then. Right, so where is Chloe? Presumably she's by the door. Still. Is there toilet paper on the floor? There she is, faithfully guarding the door. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Sure was. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Oh. What are you doing in my dorm? <laughs> You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. No, you don't, Get dude. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> <gasps> <laughs> Well done, Warren. You are so fucking dead! Uh, well, get, get the gun somewhere, for fuck's sake. Um... No, stay out of it. Let Warren do it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Yeah, it does make you wonder about Nathan, but he does kind of deserve that. I mean, he's fucking Damn, waving a gun around the door. alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. Well, no shit. Maybe you'd think twice before waving a gun around a school, you fucking idiot. Right, yeah, we're leaving that. Happy with that, let's go. At least Nathan doesn't have a gun anymore. Well, not that one anyway. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, 
Th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. <laughs> You are. Good for you. Just be aware that he might try and get you for that later yeah, on. that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Fair point. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Nice bit of beach. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. Two guns, and I actually. Might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Hmm. I do like the scenery in this game. Like the graphics are kind of stylized, so it's not really like that great of a picture in some ways, but it's kind of nicely done, and you certainly get like the uh, the atmosphere, even if like the uh, the picture quality isn't perfect. It's kind of nice. So now we have to see Frank all the way out here. The forest seemed quiet. No sign of life, or deer. Just you, right? Okay. So, let's go and talk to Frank then, or read some more shit maybe? What's that? There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. Uh, stop, Pan Estates. Uh, thanks to local industry, the shores of Arcadia Bay are now in fit for fish, birds and even whales. It's time to stop the Pan Estates development that is leading to the destruction of jobs, lives and resources. Join the peaceful protest at the Pan Estate HQ. Media and families welcome. Noon, Saturday, October 12th. 12th. Uh, right. Signpost. This is where my nightmare started. No, it's not. It's not at all. When we start in the game, we're way further up the hill by the, by the lighthouse. Beach ball? Does that matter? Oh, poor little beach ball. Mm. No parking on the beach. No worries, sign. 
Hmm. Not sure if that's sort of worth putting in, really. I mean, it's sort of good that you can look around a bit, but it's also uh, kind of pointless it being there. Let's take a photo of a dead whale. Okay, and... I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. Yeah. But will we actually it find out what it is? Mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Yeah, and I think it was actually in better condition as well. I think the, the seafront looked nicer in that reality. Uh, okay. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Uh, due to recent coastal events, the Arcadia Bay City Council has closed the beaches to any wading, surfing or swimming. This is for the safety of both the marine life and the public. Uh, violations will be subjected to a fine and or imprisonment. Lovely. Charming, charming people. Right. Can I look through the window? Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. That's probably the point. Right, so what's around here? We've got some rubbish. Take the trash out sometime, dude. Well, he did. It's right there. It's like outside his house. What the hell do you want from him? This is where Frank ponders his existence. And gets drunk. Or stoned. And how do you know that? I mean, you're just guessing. You don't know what Frank does on his time alone. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. I mean, the good doggy that charged out you with sort of undisguised rage in its eyes when you turned up last time. Okay, then. Yo, Frank, what up? Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? In my fucking hand. Uh, give him the money then. I mean, we don't think we need it oh, for anything else you. so far. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. <laughs> oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Oh, you did that already. Um, <laughs> you already did. <laughs> yeah. Um, help or else. Um, you don't get it. Um, yeah, let's try that. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it, especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right. Okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! Um... Yeah, well, you did scare her. You were waving a fucking knife around. And you threatened to cut her friend. What the fuck do you expect, you idiot? Uh, our old hideout. You scared me. Let's go for that. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. 
I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Well, we did have last time. Um... Cave dog a bone. Pompey is cute. Uh, I don't know. Does she like dogs? Uh... Oh, let's, let's say he's cute. Fuck <laughs> it. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here. And I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! <laughs> Pompidou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! <laughs> well, that could have gone better. <laughs> Okay, that was definitely the wrong thing to do. <laughs> right, so can we go back in time? No, not yet. Oh no! Chloe! Right, so are we stuck with that, or can we rewind? I just shot a man and his dog. Other way around, but yeah, you did. I killed Frank Powers. Yeah, well, what the fuck do you, you think he was going to do to you? It, it was self-defense for both of us. True. Well, potentially true, Max. anyway. Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. Oh. Yeah, apparently we can't rewind. Are we stuck with this, then? That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Um, okay. So, right. Yeah, let's try rewinding that, I think. Um... Yeah, let's try rewinding that. See if we can avoid getting people killed for the moment. Although well, it might be interesting to see what the story's like if they do that, but... Yeah, let's go back. Plus, Chloe's not too smart. She'd probably get arrested or something if she's, um... If she's ended up killing him. Come on, go back. All oh, right. Oh, come on, do I... Blah, blah, blah. Come on, get on with it. Either I rewind or I cancel. Um, what the fuck? That's just weird. Okay. Okay, so I have to go through the whole bloody thing again. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah. Right. Right, so can I just play it? Why does it not let me just stop where I want? It's weird. Okay. Okay then, for fuck's sake, let's do that again. Uh probably in the next bit. Uh no, I'll start. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact. That this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Um... Get rid of the gun? Uh... No, I don't think we want to get rid of the gun because... I mean, what if Frank does actually attack us? Uh... Oh, I 
don't know. I could say get rid of the gun. I don't want to get rid of the gun. Let's just go with... Well, let's just go with watch your Please mouth. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? All right, let's give him the money. Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank, could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Who asked you to? Right, okay, I think we'll leave it there for now. So thank you for watching, and bye-bye for now.